Anybody remember that shit? A dark time for nigga nerds back then trying to learn. Fuck around, get your ass booked, walk around with books and shit. Good ass nigga trying to learn. Fuck around. I want to be a drug dealer though, that's what I really want to do. I want to be cool. I try to sell drugs. I went to the dope house. I was like, sir, can I have some drugs to sell? Got some cocaine plus. Like, get your faggot ass out. I'm not gay, sir. I like girls. If somebody called you gay, the wrong reaction is, I'm not gay, sir. I like ladies. Let get your bitch ass out of here. Fellas, we can't cheat no more. They got the website now. Ladies got the little, the little, uh, y'all see this shit? The, the secret sites on Facebook, the Who's Man is this shit? Anybody seen? Oh my God. Yeah, they can, they can take a picture of you and put your face on the website to see if it's any other motherfuckers fucking you in that area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now they know what I'm talking about. They got the Who's Man is this shit. <laughs> I set up a face profile, put my own face up there. I was like, let me see how many bitches I got out here in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> They was like, you good. <laughs> weird looking niggas, all yours, you straight. <laughs> okay, hell, it's lighting up a little bit. That's cool. Fellas, you can't ask women if they, they single no more. That's not the question, because everybody motherfucking single. You need a lady, if you really want to know what's going on in her life, you got to ask her how many good morning text messages she get. Reacting real slowly. They'll tell you straight to your face. I'm single, damn bitch. You got 18,000 good morning beautiful. 1,700 good goddamn good night text messages and shit. Your ass ain't single. You went 1,300 uh, text relationships. A lot, of, a lot of women single because they got bad kids. Shit. I'm 40. I can't do no bad ass kids no more. Because they got stop praying for a good man, stop praying for good kids, goddamn. Nobody <laughs> dealing with that bullshit. <laughs> the only thing about women with bad kids is they fuck you harder because their kids bad. <laughs> they do like the kids disrespectful, they suck their dick harder. Like, <laughs> come on, man, get to work. You know your son's on some bullshit. <laughs> To get old and ugly. How many people know you get old and ugly? Makes you know. Okay. Are y'all beautiful in this bitch? <laughs> ugly coming. You, I don't give a fuck. You can deny it, but you're going to be ugly. Your ass is getting ugly. Time don't take place. You're going to be ugly. The only fucked up part about getting ugly is you don't know exactly when you're going to be ugly. It'd be cool if you knew because you can make decisions. You'd be going through a breakup, like, no, nah, I'm going to make this shit work. The nigga about to be hideous pretty soon. Give a little chuckle, sir. It's like, y'all, you gotta make us laugh, nigga. We ain't gonna just laugh at each other. I don't know where you've been telling these jokes at, but this ain't the fucking place. You gonna have to bring it in here, nigga. This is, this is where we make nobody nobody. <laughs> but we judge hard, this motherfucker. We can't do shit for your career, but we can stay at you and make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm old and I'm uglier, but I got higher standards. You know what I'm saying? It's like weird. Like, I ain't got the patience I used to have. Like, I can't fuck with, you know, women my, like, like in their 40s with small kids. I can't do that shit. Motherfuckers with your toddlers and shit. Like, the hell's wrong with you? These little bit of head babies in your 40s. Out here being reckless with your pussy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Giving birth to your own grandchildren. <laughs> That's why I like, I, I really appreciate women that got pregnant in high school. Now, that's gonna sound weird. But the women in high school, you remember you judge them like, oh, this bitch, she in high school, she got pregnant. You know, that's dumb when you're in high school, but at 40, all their kids are grown and dumb. That's just good pussy in an empty house right there. It's these responsible bitches walk around here with these brand new goddamn kids. Okay. Y'all starting to get pissed off at me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Wrap this shit up. Old and ugly. I know I'm ugly because I don't get free pussy no more. I'm gonna explain this to the young, a lot of young guys in here. When you young, like you young beautiful man in here, you you when you're in your 20s, women fuck you based off potential. 
right? They give you free pussy up front in hopes that someday you'll be something and you'll be with them when you become that. Like that's the exchange. You, like you think you're macking, but really she just thinks she just sees something in you and she gives you free pussy in hopes that, you know, you'll become something. But around 37, 38, all that free pussy go out the window. Like you gotta be something today. Like when you <laughs> like at 40, you gotta be something right now. You don't get potential pussy no more. Like you hit 40, you gotta be in real backs. You gotta be a good listener. You gotta help her get over somebody. You gotta you gotta have money for emergencies. <laughs> Fellas, you ever been buying pussy and you ain't know it? Like anybody ever do that? <laughs> He's like, is that tricky? I did. Okay. This is getting hard. <laughs> Turn it forward. It's, it's tough. I'm having a uh, mastering the art of a uh, uh, soft digging my bitches down. <laughs> Master the art of salt digging when you get older. I'm, I'm not saying, fellas, your dick ain't gonna work. It's just not gonna. It's not gonna be strong like it was in your twenties. And in your forties, it go in and out on you. So that's where love come in. You gotta be with a woman that'll let you hit her with the soft stroke until the dick kick in. Somebody know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm speaking some other talk. Somebody in here is a soft nigga, bitch. I'm not even like you sober. I'm not even talking about Hennessy dick. I'm talking about sober, soft dick. It's like, bitch, just let me crank it up. Give me a couple more strokes for this motherfucker. You feel it crank up, like, oh, wipe that smirk off your face, bitch. It's magic time. You're about to get in the back of your goddamn. Get yourself some respect now. 